Every, I'm sure everybody has seen the OT documentary tonight about Beethoven. I just want to take the opportunity to thank OT for bringing this up because again, you know, I have everybody in Calvin has done their best to try and get this case solved because it's something that's still in every person in Calvin it still stays in the back of our heads that Beethoven bomb and two innocent young teenagers that had nothing to do with anything were killed, um, and a town was decimated, and for, uh, people lost their loved ones. Um, and nobody was ever brought to justice. And, you know, that's something that's always stuck with me. And um, it's always something that's on the back of my mind. Um, like, every time I go into bed up, the first thing I think about, you know, when you're going through Main Street, you always remember the pictures, seeing the pictures. Because, again, I wasn't born at the time, but you remember the pictures. You remember seeing the carnage, you know, and the monument there beside the post office. You remember it. You know, you do. Remember, and you was, every time you go through bed up, that goes through my mind, I always picture it. It's like a movie in my mind, just picturing it. And it would take that nobody's ever been brought to justice. Um about it. it's just you know, it's upsetting that two people lost their lives and it was basically it was forgotten about. And I might just say it was forgotten about. Um very little was talked about and you know, I learned from my parents really. Um and then when I came here, um obviously I'm very close to Bad Hobbit, I'm only about three or four kilometers away from Bad Hobbit. Um I was told about you know, the effects here in town you know, next town to Bad Hobbit. Um, was told about you know the army being, you know the army coming through this town and onto about all, but, um, you know, I was told about just you know the carnage, just the you know just the absolutely. I suppose doomsday scenario in this in in this part of in this part of Calvin when that happened that nobody could believe and nobody. Nobody could comprehend that this happened, um, and the two people were dead and like they couldn't nobody could comprehend how somebody would do that. Um, and I do believe, and we have seen in the OT documentary again, um, that the British Army did collude on a few, would few, would blown up a bridge, um, which is outside, just outside by Torbett, and a good bit outside by Torbett. Um, and the British Army did collude with the um, British authorities to blow up, and uh, with the, the, the Ulster Fonty, the UDF, um, and blowing it up. Um, and, you know, it's a shame, it's really, really a shame that, you know, people have, so, you know, people did suffer. Um and people lost their lives and people lost a lot and cloners like for example, um I never heard of, like in all my life I heard the cloners bombing probably mentioned three times in the media, um and the fires you know I looked into myself at one stage. The fires are not there. There's nothing on. There's a few things, but there's nothing to stab you. um and I don't know where the fires are gone. I don't think anybody knows where the fires are gone in Marlin County Council or Calvin County Council. We don't have an, I don't think anybody has a clue where it's gone, um, or what happened to them, because it's just it's just not there. It's, it's just not there. There's no there's nowhere it could be found, um, and it's it's a shame that you know, that it's only being brought up now because again, the think and you know, I hate thinking about this in my mind, but you know I often talk about this if you every time I go into about Tobit, too, um, one time I was actually out walking about Tobin and I have to you know, was walking down past the past the post office with the monument is and I was just I stood really looking at the monument and I thought about two innocent people they were just almost killed for no reason. Um you know, really is something that she you know, no parent should face or nobody should face or no town should face a bomb going off and killing innocent people, innocent stand by stand you know, people stand stand by us. Um, same with Dublin and Monaghan. Um, obviously nobody's been ever called for them either. But it's just about Tobin bombing. Like it's lot like it's every bombing was a tragedy. Every bombing was a tragedy. Um, in Monaghan and Dublin, but they're talked about a good bit more than you know about Tobin because about Tobin was forgotten about. Um, and it was just basically overlooked. And I might as well say straight. Um, and hopefully, please God, um, there's somebody out there, who knows something to just give, you know, because again, the fires are not going to be released. The treaty. Fifty seven, um. Now I didn't know that. I thought it was twenty, twenty seven. I thought I that, that's what I thought it was, but I didn't look into it that much beforehand. Um. But yeah, that's a long time. So everybody who was alive during it, though, you know, it's going to be dead. Woody is going to be dead. Um. And never will see justice being done. I never will see the truth. Um. I think the British government, you know, Charlie Flanagan, the West and Do- and Dal um, who wanted to commemorate the Black and Tans and everything. Um, I think they should take, you know, I think they should think about what their life choices, and I think they should think about these people who lost their lives. Um, 
because every life was a tragedy and I'm sure I would agree the troubles, you know, regardless on whatever side to whatever side the political scale you're on. Um that was just a senseless killing show. Um just it was over not. Now you know, really at the end of the day achieved not achieved bloodshed. You know, defied anger. It didn't achieve anything. It caused heartfelt, it caused trouble, it caused upset, it caused families to lose loved ones. You know, at the end of the day, what did it achieve? And that's the thing, what did it, what did it achieve? Like it didn't achieve anything. You know, achieve people dying, people losing their lives, families losing their loved ones. It achieved nothing. The troubles achieved nothing for anybody. Um, and you know it's it's. Because you know, again, I'm a teenager, and it's hard to comprehend that somebody would take the lives of young people, or young people without even care. And and these some of these people, and this is the thing, some of these people could still be alive, who done this, and they think that they can live with themselves after what they did. You know, you just can't comprehend it. You just, I can't comprehend it, how somebody can live with themselves after killing innocent people. They had none to do with anything. I don't know how anybody could live with themselves. I really don't know how. And I say this a few who are alive, who are far from these bombings, um, in the Clonus and uh, Bertoba bombing and a few other bombings. And I say there's some alive. Um, and obviously the British government are protecting them. Um, and it might as well say straight to be protected by the British government. The British government are very, you know, not giving us the fires, what we need, and obviously hiding them away. Um, which is achieved none. It really is achieved nothing. Um, by hiding them away. Like, what do they want to hide that's so crucial? And what's, what do they need to hide from the public? Um, and again, hopefully, please God, and you know, I, I hope and I pray that you know, there'll be justice in my lifetime. I really do hope there will be. Um, we're still in this powder cap, and you know, you, you, people around here, people, especially my channel, as I was saying, the wind was sh shook after the bomb here, um, when the bomb went off, um, because it was that it was very devastating bomb, it was a very high detonating bomb, it was a bomb that caused counters in Bertoba, and obviously shook a lot. Um, the air was one by October and because it was a big, big blast, and I mean, it was a big bang. Um, and you know, I was, was brought up with them stories in this village, it was brought up about them by older people. And you remember, they remember hearing the bang, and how people were out. There was, there was people walking around, and they remember hearing the bang. Um, even actually, coming to think of him, one of my father's friends at the time, um, he was out fishing. Not too far away from but probably a few kilometers away. Actually near I don't know what Mill Town, I suppose, up that area. Um and near Lake Dale. And he heard the bomb. Um like it was a big loud like it was a loud um bang as he recalled it. And you know, I was brought up with these stories and this and you know and to think about this is a long time ago now, seventy two. And to think that nothing Nobody's ever been brought up, nobody's ever been charged, nobody's ever been how to account for their actions or for their hideous crimes and for slaughtering two innocent people. It was no, I don't I honestly don't know. I just honestly don't know, but I hope and I pray to be justice. I honestly do. I hope and pray to be justice. Because no family should live through what these families have lived through. You know, fighting for justice, trying their best to get as much answers as they can. But, you know, the system is rigged from the start. Um, but hopefully, please God, this documentary shines some light. And hopefully, please God, something comes up. Something, some kind of evidence comes out of it. That, you know, can link somebody to it. And somebody will be charged and somebody will be prosecuted. But please God, and all the angels in heaven, that something will be done about it. Please God. Thank you. Take care.